Yeah, what's good? It's me again, Will W, here for Recaps, Blogs and Reviews, and you're watching Netwatch. Please excuse the bit more abrupt and aggressive tone in this video, but I'm actually pissed off. Anyone who knows my history with conspiracy theories and investigating this kind of stuff knows how I felt about 9-11. I'm going to play you one clip, and you're going to know exactly where we're going with this. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Here we go again with buildings collapsing, collapsing that shouldn't be collapsing. Some dude on the TV blames it on bad building, but even he pointed out during an earthquake, buildings do not collapse down like that. In an earthquake, buildings fall over. This doesn't make any sense. This is 9-11 all over again. You might think I'm paranoid, you might think I'm crazy. Have a look at this video that I posted on TikTok the other day. Now to a very unusual site captured on camera. Japanese and local astronomers say a Chinese satellite was recently seen beaming down green lasers over the islands. This video captured atop the Subaru telescope on Mauna Kea, operated by the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan. Bryce Moore has the story. The lasers flash for just a couple seconds. Initially thought to be from a NASA altimeter satellite, the Japanese put out a correction note on Monday saying NASA scientists found a most likely candidate as the ACDL instrument by the Chinese DACI-1 AEMS satellite. I went to a University of Hawaii astronomer who read up on AEMS instruments. It's a Chinese satellite that is uh, measuring pollutants, among other things. It has many different instruments on it. Some kind of topographical mapping or they're also used for measuring stuff in the atmosphere, Earth's atmosphere, and I think that's what it is. It's an environmental measurement satellite. I also sat down with the former chief of staff of Marine Forces Pacific. He had some questions. I'm not sure, this is my opinion, why the Chinese, who are probably some of the most prolific polluters on the planet, would be collecting data on pollutants on this side of the Pacific. And now, look at the damage around Turkey. Look! Take a look at this. Drone footage shot today by the Associated Press shows the extent of the damage to the city of Antakya in southern Turkey. After two powerful earthquakes hit the region earlier this week, Monday's quake destroyed the historic streets of the city. The earthquake has killed more than 25,000 people in Turkey. In earthquake damage in sections in sections and we're not supposed to believe anything is going on i am absolutely appalled i'm appalled and not only that i've literally just learned today that it took two days to get any kind of help to these people why why did it take i need an answer to that why did it take two days explain to me why it took two days to get any kind of help to these people why out of space weapons those lasers that were being tested that that's that's very interesting i think that's the key and what's interesting is Turkey was about to leave NATO? Madness. So I think the next thing that's important to do is put some links uh, in the description and on screen of places where you can donate things to Turkey and Syria to help and, and bring them aid. Um, but there's something that I was made aware of today which makes me angry and I'm going to quickly pull this up because it bothers me. So 10 countries pulled out leading ambassadors from Turkey. 24 hours before the earthquake hit. 24 hours before the earthquakes hit, 10 countries removed their leading ambassadors from Turkey for safety. Well, we assume for safety. That raises more questions, obviously, and it doesn't look good when people are already starting to think that this was no natural disaster, that this was some kind of attack. Dominic Chilcott is a UK ambassador and we're going to do a separate video on all 10 ambassadors, find out who they are, look into them a little bit, and maybe try and get some answers. But for now, the one in the UK that we need to look at is Sir Dominic Chilcott. I'm going to take a little look at who this guy is. Alright, so very conveniently, after going through my phone, I can't even find this guy on social media really, and a few YouTube videos about him working in Turkey. And the last one was about a year ago. So... That's interesting. I would have thought there'd be some sort of message of hope and love and something to a country that he claims to love so much in these YouTube videos. Interesting. But yeah, that's all I've really got for you on this one. I'm just, I'm shocked. And a lot of this looks like 9-11 did. 
and the damage is in sections in some of these videos. How are some of these buildings debris and powder, but other buildings are pristine looking brand new? It, it doesn't make sense. It really doesn't make any sense. And that's mad. Anyway, this has been Netwatch and we'll be back on this one again, I'm sure. But for now, we're just going to have to watch and see how it plays out. Um, again, we're going to leave all the details for sending aid out to Turkey and Syria in the description. And we'll keep you updated on our TikTok and Instagram and Facebook and much more as we go along. Thank you very much. This has been Netwatch and I'm out. Thank you.